Hello and welcome to another video on how to use Mobilock Pro on your Android and iOS devices. In this video, we will see how to enable two-step verification and how to use Google Authenticator. In the previous video, we saw how to enable two-step verification and use it along with email-based one-time passcodes. So this video will focus on Google Authenticator. Please remember that whatever changes you do will apply to you and the administrators and other co-account owners of your dashboard. To do that, first log into the dashboard, click on the logo here, click on admins and roles and click on sign in settings as you could see on my screen. If you had previously enabled two-step verification, to change the verification mechanism that is to switch between email and Google Authenticator, you need to disable the existing mechanism first. I'll go ahead and disable. Now, as you could see, I need I get a chance to enable two-step verification again. Let me go ahead and enable it. This time, let me select Google Authenticator. Please remember that before you save it, you need to download the Google Authenticator application on your phone. The Authenticator application is available for both iOS and Android. So go to the respective Play Stores and search for Google Authenticator application. I'm using an Android phone and in my phone I have already installed the Google Authenticator uh, application from Google Play Store. If you are using an iPhone then please search for the app on the Android iTunes Play Store and install it from the iTunes uh, Store. Now let me go ahead and save. Again, you would be asked for a passcode. Now, this would require you to kind of register a QR code first to scan a QR code so that the Google Authenticator can recognize Mobilock dashboard account. The way Authenticator works is once the registration happens, it will generate a dynamic code every 10 or 15 seconds. And every time you log into the dashboard, you have to enter the code that is shown on the app at that point of time. Let me go ahead and launch the Authenticator app on my phone. The first time after you install, let me show you my screen. This is how you would see it. Click on begin. Click on, you can go through the tutorials here or you can skip them. As you would see, you would end up on the screen. Click on scan a barcode. It will ask you the access to camera. Go ahead and give the access. Let me go ahead and scan the barcode. As you could see, it has scanned the barcode and it clearly displayed that the account is added. You could also see the environment, which at this point is showing the staging environment. In production, it will be production and you will see the email ID here. You could also see the code that is generated for the first time. Now, you need to enter this code here. You go ahead and enter the code. This enables the two-factor authentication using Google Authenticator. Now, you are given some scratch codes or cheat codes that can be used the 10 or 15 times that you don't have access to your phone. So please download this and save it to a safe place that you can recover whenever you need it. Once this is done, the two-factor authentication has been enabled using Google Authenticator. Remember that all your administrators and co-account owners have to do this step the first time that they log into the dashboard after you have activated this. Let me log out and show it to you how it works on the next time login. Let me choose my email address. I'll click on sign in. As you could see, it has asked me to enter the code. I would launch the Google Authenticator app on my device. Enter the code that is displayed there. And here I am logged into my dashboard. Let us do this from a device admin.
This is the first time I'm logging in with that device admin. As you could see, I've been shown another QR code. So the device admin has to install Google Authenticator and do the same process again. He will be shown a code which they have to enter here. In my case, I've got a new code and I click on sign up. They would also get their backup codes and they would have to download so that they can use it when they, whenever they want. From here, they can go to the dashboard. Hope this video explains you how to enable Google Authenticator based two-factor authentication for MobiLock dashboard. In the next video, we will see how to disable two-factor authentication on a per admin level once or always. Let's go ahead and see that in the next video. Thank you.